hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys today I'm gonna be making for you sawfish flitters and as you can see I already have my sawfish prepared this I had soaking overnight to help to um, reduce the salt so I'm gonna go ahead I just pour the water off I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in my pot with boiling water and let it boil um, for a few minutes just to get rid of a little bit more of the salt because it's still a little on the salty side and um, once I boil this a little bit I don't want it fresh I'd, and I don't want it too salty I want it just right so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my pot let it boil for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back I'm gonna clean it up remove the bones and um, um, put it in small pieces and um, come back and show you how I'm going to put this sawfish flitters together. Along with my fish, I also have all my seasonings already cut up. I have scallion, I have green pepper, I have red pepper, and right here is my scotch bonnet pepper. I'm going to be adding black pepper and um if you some people like to put thyme i don't like thyme in my salt fish flitters i just just what you see right here is how i like mine you could put onions whatever your preference you could add whatever you want this is my version of salt fish flitters and as you can see i went ahead and i cut them as small as i could get them probably i'm gonna go through it with my knife some more and make it even smaller but these are my ingredients that's going to go into my salted fritters. All right, guys, so stay tuned. I'm going to wait for the fish to boil. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys once I clean it and once I pick it up in small pieces, I'm going to come back and show you guys how I'm going to put it together. All right, stay tuned. I will be right back. Hey, guys, welcome back. So my sawfish, I let it boil for like 10 minutes and turned it off. So now um, I add some cold water, let it cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the skin and once I remove the skin and all the bones I'm going to um, shred it apart with my hands in small pieces or you could make it big pieces again guys this is your preference however you want to make it this is my version all right so I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys once I remove all the skin and remove all the bones I'm going to come back and show you guys um, how I pull it apart in you know little pieces and how I combine the flour and all my seasoning and um, and start frying up these saltfish flitters. All right, I'm gonna show you guys just a, you know, a little bit how I remove the skin, just in case you've never done be this before. So for my, uh, my viewers who have never done this before, so you're gonna take a knife and you're gonna remove the skin. And any bones because the last thing you want is to be eating it and you know get poked by a bone so I'm just removing all the skin that bone and then you just pull the fish apart and I pick a specific type of sawfish. As you can see, this one is very flaky. I pick a specific type of fish. I don't like the one that when you cook it, it's like, like very shreddy, shreddy, chewy, chewy, stringy, stringy. This one here is actually flakes. Like it's just, this reminds me of butterfish. Anybody who knows anything about fish this reminds me of butterfish nice and flaky and this is the perfect perfect fish to make um to make your sawfish flitters because the meat is just flaky and nice it's not you know shreddy shreddy or however you want to say i don't even know but this is it right here guys you see that perfect 
so guys i'm gonna stay tuned i'm gonna come back once i'm done i'm gonna come back and show you guys how i put this together all right don't forget to like share subscribe don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend angel delight is in her kitchen again cooking up some good stuff guys remember today i'm making for you sawfish flitters all right i will be back to show you when i put this together stay tuned okay guys welcome back as you can see that's my fish and as you can see, I didn't make it really small and I didn't make it really big. This is like the perfect size and how I like my sausage flitters, right? All right, so let's put this together. So in this bowl, I have two cups of flour and I use my whisk to get all the lumps, to remove all the lumps from my flour. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my water. Okay, and this is about a cup and a half of water. I'm just going to add it and just keep adding water until I get the consistency that I want. Right. You don't want your batter too wet runny and you don't want it too dry so it seems like that cup and a half of water and again guys I'm using a whisk because I want to make sure I get all the lumps and all the dry clothes you can see I still need more water I'm going to go ahead I'm going to add Another quarter cup. And you're going to mix it until it's smooth. And there's no more. lumps from the flour okay guys so to my batter um, I forgot to mention earlier I added one tablespoon of um, baking powder and a teaspoon of salt and as you can see my batter is nice and smooth and this is the perfect consistency that you want. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add my fish. And again guys, you can make the fish whatever size you want, smaller than what I have, bigger than what I have. Again, your preference, this is my version all the seasoning I'm adding, you can add whatever seasonings you want. All right, so that's my fish. So, and I like mine with a lot of fish, fully loaded. As you can see, you can see the chunks of the fish. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my my seasonings again scotch bonnet pepper red bed pepper green bell peppers and some scallion and we're gonna mix this very well until it's combined perfectly guys look at that wow you know what I'm gonna name this my fully loaded saltfish flitters look at that guys look at all the chunks of the saltfish the peppers Kellyanne. 
All right. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to come back and show you how I fry these bad boys up. All right. Take my whisk out. Come on, get out, get out. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. So on my stove, um, I have my Dutch pot with my oil. It's hot and nice and ready. You don't want your oil too hot because you don't want your flitters to start burning and then the inside is not cooked. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start um, putting in my flitters. And I'm using a, a scoop so I can have better control than using a spoon and I have my stove on between medium and high again you don't want it too hot because then your fritters the outside is going to burn and then the inside is not cooked properly and put another one right here And if you see that they're frying too fast, you can turn your stove down a little bit, but you don't want to turn it down too much because you don't want your flitters to um, soak up the oil. You could spread yours out thin. Um, once you put them in, you could use your, you know, cup like to spread it out to make it thinner. And as you can see, guys, look at that. You're frying nice and golden brown. All right. So again, guys, I'm making for you today fully loaded saltfish flitters. All right, and the fully loaded is. A lot of saltfish and um, you know so that's my name for my saltfish flitters fully loaded all right guys I'm gonna continue to fry these up I'm gonna come back and show you guys when I'm done frying these up and let you see what it looks like on the inside because I'm actually gonna break one apart to show you the inside for those of you who've never had this before never seen this this is for you and for my subscribers who has done this before, this is just my version. And I know you have your version. Alright guys, don't forget to like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Alright guys, I'm going to come right back and show you once I'm done frying these up. Alright, stay tuned. Okay guys, so the first set I did... I put too much of the batter at the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put more, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it out. 
instead of like pouring it in one spot because I think because of the baking powder it swells up and it's not as flat as I like them to be so I'm going to spread it out some more instead of just pouring it in one spot and I'm using a little less of the mix than I was so let's see how these come out. Perfect. There we go. Alright. Go ahead and remove these for so they don't burn. And again guys, I'm keeping my stove on between medium and high because you want to keep the oil just right. Can you see how it's perfect? So I'm going to go ahead and flip this one over. So I can get it to flip. Okay guys, perfect. Much better than the first set. So it's not as thick as the first set because I was pouring the batter in one spot instead of spreading it out. So now these are perfect. Alright, so guys I'm going to come back once I'm done frying these up. I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Stay tuned guys, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so welcome back. My softest slitters, they are finished frying and guys i'm telling you fully loaded is not even the word it has so much chunks of the meat of the saltfish and inside i don't know if you guys could see it see that saltfish right there look the outside is nice and crispy and the inside is awesome okay guys so again this is my saltfish flitters and um i will put the recipe in the description box so you guys can see the recipe you can follow the recipe again you could add whatever you want to add whichever seasons you want to add to yours this is my version of sawfish flitters again guys thank you for liking sharing subscribing thank you for taking the time out of your day to um watch my videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell so whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Again, guys, thank you so much. Stay tuned for my next video. Again, guys, Sawfish Fitters, and this one is called Fully Loaded. All right. Take care, guys. Be safe. Peace.